So I get this question a lot. Hey, how is AI going to be impacting the business analyst role? Is it going to make it obsolete? Is it going to take it over? Like, what's the deal? So let's talk about this. So what is going on, guys? I am the BA Tutor and welcome to my channel where I talk all things in the world of the business analyst. So if you guys are interested in that, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That does help me out a lot. All right. So let's get into this. All right. So AI, right? We know it's at the top of minds for everybody it is not going away. It is in fact just going to be growing more and more. So what is the deal with AI in terms of the BA role? Is it going to have a major impact? And to me, I'm just gonna go out and flat out say it because I know everyone's thinking it. No, I don't believe that AI is going to replace the business analyst role. It will certainly impact it, but it won't replace it. And overall, what I think is going to happen here is it's going to make work for business analysts more efficient, uh, more accurate, and more strategic. And so how is that? So as far as more efficient, I think it's going to help automate repetitive tasks, right? There's a lot of tasks that you do as a BA that can get tedious, repetitive, uh, data collection, uh, data sorting, data cleaning, all of those things could easily be, you know, uh, automated with AI and you just being able to assign those tasks to them to be able to go ahead and do that, run reports and what have you. So to me, automating repetitive tasks is going to be a huge impact here, which is of course a benefit of the BA role, for the BA role, I should say. Uh, then the other thing, I think it is going to enhance stakeholder communication. So the way BAs talk with stakeholders today, I believe AI could be used to augment that with you know, having uh, data shown in more efficient and better ways, right? AI can whip up great PowerPoints for you. You don't have to go ahead and sit and create all of that. Again, going back to uh, automating some sort of repetitive task here, but uh, putting together data in a way that stakeholders find it easier to consume, putting it in charts, putting it in, again, ways that stakeholders will understand it better and enhance that communication between, you know, business analysts and stakeholder. I think that is another major plus of what AI is going to do with the BA role. And then finally, I think there's just going to be much more of a strategic focus on the BA role, which is, hey, if I'm automating all these repetitive tasks, if I'm able to sort of, you know, enhance my stakeholder communication, I will have more time now to focus on you know, the strategic part of the role as far as, you know, looking at the work that you have at a macro level, right? Conceptually taking a look at, hey, you know, I don't have to spend all my day to day in terms of the repetitive tedious tasks. I can take a look at the project plans, the roadmaps and see, hey, a year, two years, three years down the line, what exactly is it looking like? So as far as the big picture, you can focus more on strategy. Now, the role itself doesn't call for it as much, but there is an aspect of it that there that the role has that you can look into. So strategic focus is also going to be a benefit here that is going to come out with AI. So overall, folks, to me, I think it's just helping the role become more efficient, more accurate, more strategic. I mean, I haven't even talked about the fact that you can just make your data more accurate, right? Have co-pilot chat gpt you know run through your documents run through your data just make sure everything's squared away everything's good you didn't make any mistakes you didn't miss anything so like data accuracy improving that is going to be a big plus so to me i look at ai as a, as a good thing here because it's just going to make my role a lot easier so i would embrace it instead of you know worrying about it trying to run away from it so that's what i believe is going to be the case with regards to AI. So hopefully that answers some of your questions. With that, let me know if you guys have more down below in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.